I'm Cheryl. I live in the Scottish Highlands. I'm very lucky to have a lot of different outdoor activities at my doorstep. My new favourite thing to do is wild swimming. I love to go for a dip or a swim in a loch. And so it made it very easy for me to choose what my challenge, my Quest 79, was going to be about. Tell us what you're doing this weekend. I have decided for my Quest 79 to do, well, I'm going to take a dip in 79 different lochs over Scotland in 79 hours. I've been planning it for a very long time. There's so much to it. There's not only the fact that I'm going into each loch, I'm also having to think about driving to each of them. It's 584 miles um, from the first loch to That's the last one. That's an amount of driving. It is. As well as sometimes swims, as well as sleeping, eating, yeah. <laughs> keeping self functioning, and you're getting washed in between because yes. you don't want to cross contaminate the locks. I'm not an athlete. I don't swim long distances. I'm only getting in up to my shoulders because I don't want to get my hair wet. I don't want to feel that cold over the whole weekend. The plan is to start at Loch Mortar on the Thursday at 9 a.m. Then I have a route planned that will take me around lochs in the Highlands, finishing at Loch Ness at 4 p.m. on Sunday where I've invited some friends and family to hopefully join me in the last dip. I've never done anything as epic as this, so it's very exciting to have that feeling of, what am I doing? This is something. This is something. Out of your comfort zone, yep. out of the norm. Absolutely. things that you didn't realise yep. about yourself, and at the same time, doing something amazing for the people, raising money for the British Heart Foundation That's right. and Spinal Injuries. Yes. We're at Loch Morer. Yep. We have parked up for the night. Gonna stay over tonight so that I'm ready for my first loch at 9 a.m. To be honest, I haven't looked at any forecast. I, I'm too scared to. <laughs> the nerves are just different. It's like, am I gonna have enough time? Am I gonna enjoy myself? Am I gonna be okay? Am I gonna get cold? Am I gonna be too hot when we're driving because the van is quite warm? Um, am I gonna get enough sleep? Am I gonna get enough to eat? Am I gonna be hungry all day <laughs> and want to stop all the time and be eating? Um, just, I guess it's more questions that are just going around in the head rather than I feel nervous about something. donation from somebody who was camping at Loch Motor there. How's your wet swimsuit? Oh, that's cold! <laughs> Three, two, one, that's you. Oh, OK. I'm going to park here. It's an abandoned house. And I'm just going to jump over the fence. <laughs> getting easier to get in, actually. Welcome yeah. to Glen Trennan. <laughs> Crack on. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> There's blue-green algae in this loch. They can be toxic to dogs, but quite harmful for people as well. So this is not a loch that I can do. <laughs> that was a nice 
nice one, so that it would be colder. <laughs> it's very gross. <laughs> so cold. Going over the bridge onto Sky. So we just came in to ask if it was okay for us to park at the hotel. And we got a wee sponsor and some of their own homemade gin and whiskey. cold in there. Oh, there's no way we're staying here for camping. These guys are having a party. We will move on. <laughs> in 13 hours, I've done 19 locks. If it's 19 locks, that should be 19 hours. So it's only 13 hours that we've done. So there's six hours spare. So then basically I can have six hours sleep. I'm just realizing how massive it is. There is, I've only done 20, 19 locks today, missed two. Yeah, it's like a mammoth <laughs> challenge that I've set myself, so I'm kind of like, is it Sunday yet? <laughs> it's running around, midges are out. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but this is like basically shallow right up until the vines start there. I'm gonna have to leave this one. Oh good, this one just has a patch of water lilies in the middle so I can probably get around them. I'm going to traipse my way through those trees to get in because we're losing time, really. Oh, it's gross! <laughs> And 19. Let's go get coffee. Of lunch because we're running a little bit behind on time 
good news is we've accidentally added an extra lock. We'd wrecked it, but it didn't make the list for some reason. solution to drying your swimsuit shell. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? <laughs> What's that for us then, numbers wise? Numbers wise, we're actually going, we're on 43. Take away the three, we're on 40. You know what 40 means though? <gasps> 40 is the halfway, we're at the halfway mark. With the experience I've had with this type of lock, I'm just gonna be floating, sitting, or lying down on the mud with a bit of water over me. I'm just calling it. Halfway, but we're also really against the clock as well at the same time. It's getting later and darker. My back is actually sore from like shivering. It's not fun anymore. <laughs> and there was a moment where it's like, I don't want to carry on because what's the point if you're not going to finish? I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of thinking tomorrow will tell. I've woken up feeling pretty miserable actually. Five hours sleep. I was cold and then I was too hot. I put on too many layers, I'd take them off. I'm very dehydrated. And and it's cold. Right now I don't find the fun in it. I think. You know, we're we're playing catch up and I have no idea if we're gonna make it tomorrow on time. Three, two, one, time. I'm gonna have a little chat just now and see if we maybe change up my route. Because I think we're all feeling the pressure and we obviously want to finish the, the challenge. It's just, yeah, how can we make it easier? How can we make it better? How can we make it faster? So and then if any of these wee ones are 
mm, mud pits. On top of the list, list, we're really realistically looking for nine or ten new new locks, but in a cluster, ideally. So we took about 20 minutes this morning to rethink our route. Because of that, I've got an extra two locks that when I did the recce, I dismissed because I thought it would be too difficult to get to. Turns out with extra folk here helping me out, they <laughs> can see that it was actually doable. So I've just done an extra two that aren't on my list. up to 19 done 19 we're only at quarter past three by the time we're done it should be 29 this is Marcus's truck Marcus has come out to help us over the past few days his help has actually been invaluable he found this giant cluster of locks for us Now. I'm not gonna go into the lock to start with. I think we should stop and then. Yeah, we'll we'll figure out some shit. Get a yeah. warm cup of tea at yeah. least, and, and then we then can. Then I'll see if I get in that one. <laughs> You're getting in that one. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Gain a mish. Okay. Um, and there's a parking space next to there, so that's okay. three that you've got. Okay, yeah, that's let's do that. Up. Obviously, it would also be quite nice to be making our way down south already. Well, I was just going to suggest that if we do um, Glen Dew, yep. Glen Cool. <laughs> nine more to go. <laughs> it's mental. You know what's amazing about today as well? I have a fresh towel per lock. I can actually get out of each lock and have a nice fresh cozy towel. That's so exciting. <laughs> Definitely warmer 
down this side of the country. <laughs> I'm actually starting to feel nervous now. We're at Loch Achilty, so we're kind of getting back to the home, and I feel nervous. My tummy's like, <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it's. <laughs> we're basically passing a lot of tail shake that I'm not doing. It's lovely, swimmable, and everything. Instead of getting into this lovely one here, I was in one basically laid down in mud. <laughs> Yeah. 